Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master, a psychic medium, and a channel for the divine. Welcome back. How's everybody doing? Hope you all are doing well on this beautiful Monday. It's Moon Day. I was born on the Moon Day. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So how's everybody doing? I know the energies have been pretty intense. There's been a lot clearing um, emotionally, spiritually, collectively, uh, symbolically. This can be showing up in manifestations of sickness, things literally purging from the body, okay? Because when we go through that energetic purge, it does come out. Okay, sometimes we will experience uh, those things. Sometimes we won't. It could come out, you know, symbolically crying, anger, different things like that. So there is a lot that is being rebalanced since and 1111 11, or 111. Sorry, since uh, going through Scorpio season, we're now in Sagittarius season. So this is where the transmute. 122, 123. This is where the transmutation is taking place, okay? So it has to go through that deep dive. We've got to be able to dive in and see what is in us that needs to be transmuted or just taking a really deep, hard look at those shadow aspects. So when we move into Sagittarius season, 144, we can transmute that, okay? Symbolically, it is being burned and released to the higher dimensions. So I was really guided to get on here. Let's see where everybody's at. I pulled a few of my other cards out. So we're going to play with them. Let's see where we're at. We're going to see what's going on. Let's see what's coming up to be released. And also to see what Jupiter may be bringing in. Okay. Let's see. And this is where Dharma is going to be, 222. Dharma is going to be at play here, okay? What does that mean? If we are not on our destined path, things are going to be blown up. Okay, things are going to be blown up. 234, if we're living in our south node, things are going to be blown up. Literally. Okay, it's no joke. This is, like, it's really no joke. Okay, so... Your dreams need a practical plan. There's a lot that's needing to be released, okay? I have Venus and Mars showing up, so that's beautiful, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. Your commitment's definitely being tested. And as I was talking about living in the South Node, the South Node showed up. Okay, so the thing about the South Node is, especially with Scorpio, okay, there's going to be people that come into our reality, uh, that is going to act as a test. Do you really want what you say you want? Okay. The thing about the South Node being in Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of um, sexual energy, 333. Okay. It's going to be a lot of this. Okay. The way that you're going to know if you're truly in line, blessings are going to show up. 344 blessings are going to show up. So if you are not seeing blessings in your life at this moment, you've got to continue navigating, continue working, continue clearing in order to get on your highest timeline. If you need help navigating where you're at, okay, to see are you on the highest timeline, please reach out to me. This is what I'm here for. This is what I do with my clients on a daily basis. So I'm here to assist. Okay, the energy that's holding this up, 414, is going to be Mars. It's definitely time to take action. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward. Okay, this Mars retrograde um, is also going to be highlighting a lot of karmic situations uh, that have shown up to see. Do you truly want what you say you want? Okay, let's see where we're at in the heart space. Let's see what's going on there. I want to see where we're at in the heart space. And then we're going to dive into Divine Fem 444, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine. See where they're at. 
heart within the collective. Okay, let's see where are we at in the heart space. Where are we at in the heart space? We got to get out of that south node. We got to get out of that Scorpio energy and step more into the Taurus north node energy. One more, please. One more. I have to do it one more time. See, where are we in the heart space? Heart chakra. Okay, mm. mm, 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 mm. so uh, whatever's not aligned, it's got to go. Okay, there could be heart chakra awakenings, heart chakra purges is taking place. All right, so whatever's not aligned, it must go. Okay, this is deeply going to be connected to the south node. This is going to show you where you're at. Okay, if it is not flowing 555, the way it's meant to flow, things are not going to be lining up. Things are not going to be literally lining up. Okay, there's going to be towers. If you are going in the right direction, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, trust me, you will be redirected, all right? The reason why the heart chakra purges are taking place, you have to clear any and all energy that's not serving you to your greatest good and highest joy in order for the light to be able to come in, okay? Your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. There is a lot of upgrades that's taking place. There is a lot of light that's coming in. You may be feeling tired. You may be feeling um, drained. Okay. This is all part of the ascension process. Okay. Warrior Woman is also showing up along with um, Anna, the grandmother of Jesus. Have you answered your deepest calling? Okay, we all have a soul calling. We all have a soul contract of what we are supposed to be doing, experiencing, living, being while we are here going through this process. Okay, if you are not in line and you are not answering that deepest call within to get you on your destined path, to get you on your destined journey connected to your north node. Your guys are going to step in. They're going to let you know, hey, you're not quite on track. Okay? Uh, seating the light, laying the foundations, and part of the divine plan. Okay? There is a lot of mirroring that's taking place within um, the collective energies, especially with divine masculine, divine feminine energy. And what does that exactly mean? Well, whatever's going on in one is going to be going on in the other literally living mirrored parallel lives okay there is a lot of mirroring these things are real they do exist i've experienced it i've lived it i've witnessed it i've seen it firsthand so there is a lot of mirroring that's taken place let's see uh where divine feminine is at what energy is divine feminine embodying at this moment what energy is Divine Feminine embodying at this moment? What energy is Divine Feminine embodying at this moment? Faith. Ha <laughs> ha. Faith is Archangel Michael's divine counterpart. The warrior woman. Okay, what energy... Is Divine Feminine embodying at this time? Divine Feminine's a little resistant. She's not wanting to speak. What energy is Divine Feminine embodying at this time? Five of Cups. Focused on the past. Focused on what's not working. Not seeing the opportunity. Standing right in front of her. Okay. So, let's see. What energy is Divine Masculine embodying at this time? What energy is Divine Masculine embodying at this time? Ace of Cups, ready, willing, here. I have the cup, I have the cup, okay? There's a lot of fire energy that's showing up on both sides. How's Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? 
Okay, how is Divine Feminine seeing the Divine Union? How is Divine Feminine seeing the Divine Union? How is Divine Feminine seeing the Divine Union, please? How is Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? Three's a crowd. Too many people. Too many people. Too many people. Yes, too many people. Too many. Dang. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> How's Divine Masculine seeing the relationship? How's Divine Masculine seeing the Divine Union? How is Divine the Moon? Okay. Um, uh, possibly in in a shadow, okay? The new moon also represents uh, Cancer and Pisces. And then I have Pisces showing up here. So, uh, you know, Divine Masculine could be uh, working through some shadow aspects for sure, okay? Things may be hidden. He, um, and I say he, okay, there could be illusions. It's being worked through, 1111, okay? Messages from Divine Feminine's Higher Self, please. What does Divine Feminine's Higher Self? Oh, smokes. Cards are flying again. Two nights. <laughs> Passion, love. It's nights. They're also going in two different directions. Could be a lot of sexual energy, a lot of love, a lot of playfulness, okay? Messages from Divine Masculine's Higher Self. I actually get three on that one. <laughs> okay, the one of the other knights is showing up. Moving quickly, okay? And then I get the Empress and the Queen of... The Queen of Wands. So, uh, Divine Masculine's Higher Self is going to be coming in fast. Coming in hot, okay? To really say, hey... You are the Empress. You are the one that really holds my passions, my desires, the one that I truly love. But Divine Feminine's too focused on things of the past. Divine Feminine's not seeing it. Okay, let's see. What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with Divine Feminine? What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with Divine Feminine? what's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with Divine Feminine, the lovers. Yeah, this is it. It's already shown, like, victory taking place, okay? It's already been shown. Divine Feminine's not seeing the love showing up, okay? Divine Feminine's not seeing um, the Divine Counterpart show up. Divine Feminine's not seeing it. But Divine Masculine sees it, okay? It's almost like Divine Masculine seeing through the illusion of separation. Seeing it clearly, okay? Messages from Divine Masculines. Uh, let's see, what's going on underneath the surface with Divine Masculine? What's going on? You can't be seen. Union. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> okay? can be seen. I have Pisces showing up again with the hangman. Okay. Um, give me one card for the relationship. Let's see what's going on within the relationship. Seven of Wands. 
anything. <sighs> Unconditional love, passion. Um, there is a lot of love here. Okay, there is a lot of love here. Divine Feminine needs to turn around. Focus on the two cups. Focus on the love. Okay, focus on the passion. Boom. And it shows up within your reality. Give me three cards uh, for the future for this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy. Give me three cards. Chariot, Cancer, okay? Things are going to move forward fairly, fairly fast. There's going to be a lot of fast movement, okay? Divine Feminine, turn around, okay? There's definitely a lot of love here, right? Third party situation definitely needs to be cleared, okay? It needs to be removed. Uh, Divine Feminine is seeing that uh, three's a crowd, Okay? Divine Feminine seeing it, and that could be um, what's causing this lower vibrational energy with the, the Divine Feminine. Okay, cycles have completed. It's time for your wishes to be fulfilled. It's time for wishes to definitely be fulfilled. This is going to happen quickly, definitely coming together in the 3D. Okay, judgments here. All right, let's see what past life connection is being healed at this moment within this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies. What past life connection is being healed at this moment within this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies. One more. There's some healing on the mother side. This is the energy this, that's holding this up. Okay. Definitely new beginnings. It's going to be taking place. This is going to be very grounding. And it's definitely a higher vibrational energy, a galactic star seed energy. Can you tell me what um, is being born? Can you tell me what is being born, please? Tell me what's being born. There's that Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords, Divine Truth. Okay. This relationship is what's being born. Okay. A lot of passion. One more, please. Divine truth. Divine truth. Give me one more. What's being born within this relationship? Apologies. An offering. A lot of passion. Okay. Get the Ace of Swords, Divine Truth, okay? Knight of Wands, a lot of passion. Definitely a peace offering that's going to be coming in. Definitely does feel like it's coming in from the Divine Masculine, okay? Because he's trying to offer her that flower and she's like, Ugh. no. And it could be due to the third party issue. Third party issues definitely showing up. Divine Feminine seeing it, seeing it very clear. Okay. Definitely seeing it as not being a high vibrational love. But Divine Masculine sees the truth. Okay, Divine Masculine sees the truth even though it may not be displayed in the 3D reality. Divine Masculine's definitely seeing it. Alright guys. I love you guys. I hope these messages find you well. If you would like to schedule a reading with me, my website's below. I'll see you all soon. Bye.